My name is Jason Reinheimer and I'm the lead of Limograin's spring wheat breeding program in North America. Today we're going to be taking you through the ins and outs of our wheat breeding program and showing you some of the exciting products that are currently available and soon to be available to you coming to a field soon. I'm Russell Obert, Regional Sales Manager for the Northern Plains for LCS Seeds. I do the spring wheat and I'm really excited about this year's lineup. Jason will be uh, We'll be talking about the varieties and I will follow up with some comments, hoping to uh, add to your excitement and to your success for the 2021 sales year. And here we have LCS Trigger. What can we say about LCS Trigger? This thing yields. It's been the highest yielding spring wheat variety in the Northern Plains for some time now. And look at it, it just looks like it wants to yield. Those blocky heads, I love those. That short, stiff straw. You know, this thing will get up and boogie in most situations. So if you wanna look for something that's going to really push the bushels per acre on your farm, this is certainly one to consider. It's been a, a consistently high performer for a number of years now. Yeah, I definitely recommend checking out LCS Trigger. LCS Trigger is again, uh, a industry leader for yield, uh, not having a high protein, but oftentimes it will actually outrun, the yield will outrun the, the protein discounts. Um, and uh, it continues to be, it's a little bit fuller season and about 10 days later than Canon, which is the earliest thing on the market, uh, trigger is consistently the high yielder on the farm. LCS trigger would be our yield leader. Uh, again, after three years of winning uh, the national yield contest, again, um, it has always been in there. And there's one guy that has won the, the trial for yield with trigger for three years in a row. You know, guys just amazed that the yield it, it, it's the best they've ever had. Um, when guys try trigger, it's pretty common for me to the next following fall to ask them about trigger and they are, their comment is, I have never had wheat yield like that. That's been the, the highest yield I've had on my farm. Next up, LCS Rebel. So now we are looking at uh, LCS Rebel another balanced line as part of the LCS spring wheat portfolio. LCS Rebel is very high quality, uh, balanced variety, as I mentioned. It's very sought after by millers and bakers for its high baking performance, high milling performance. It's on the wheat quality council's check varieties to benchmark other up and coming varieties against. So, you know, very well recognized, high quality variety. This line has broad adaptation. So across the Northern Plains, you can plant LCS Rebel and it will perform as a very good balanced line, which is a line that will still produce the high protein content and still produce the yields as well. So that's why we call that a balanced line. LCS Rebel is a touch on the taller side compared to some of the others I've just shown you. In terms of LCS Cannon, which is a shorter variety, it has good broad adaptation, good disease resistance, and is one that I think could be widely applied to a range of different growing conditions across the Northern Plains. LCS Rebel will remain the, the quality wheat leader. It is consistently the top for quality, color, protein, and test weight. With LCS Rebel, uh, the growers know it even at spraying time or when it first comes up. It is noticeably an aggressive plant. Very good early growth, very good canopy as far as competing with weeds, very good competitor with the weeds and canopy to shade out the weeds early on in its growth and it continues to look good all the way through. Its grain looks good, its plant is very healthy, looks great and continues to have that good looking wheat variety. Next up on the LCS lineup, LCS Cannon. This is a variety which is very short in stature, very strong straw, which means its standability is excellent, which is 
showing off its feature right here, right now. As we get closer, we can see to some degree it's early maturing, which is a very desirable characteristic, especially in years like uh, 2020, where we had a late start to the seeding window in uh, the northern plains of the US. So early maturity means that we can get it off nice and early before the end of the season with the adverse weather conditions. We can get a bit closer here. We can see the, you know, the semi knotty head here. It's a very good looking variety, especially to me. You know, it's a really good one for us because of its great balance in terms of its yield versus protein balance. You know, we've seen that very important feature to be able to maintain those high yields while also having the ability to have the high protein as well. So you get the best of both worlds there in terms of protein premiums as well as the, the volume per acre. So this is LCS Cannon, a very good variety and one that's certainly one to watch out for and give it a try on your farm. LCS Cannon is uh, really, we're, we're very excited about it in the 2021 season. It has been good now for three years and a lot of growers have been uh, talking about it. It uh, is very early, has very good straw strength with a consistent protein of 14 and above. So we're, uh, we have a lot of dealers that have a good supply and we're excited about it. LCS Cannon is, uh, it has really had some testimonials as far as, man, that was early to harvest. Um, we had one grower and as a dealer of ours, and he was trying to combine his seed barley. And uh, after two or three days where it wasn't dry enough and wasn't drying, he told his uh, hired man to go and take, and take a, a sample of the wheat. Uh, his can of wheat was dry, combined it all, had to field work before he could do his barley. It's an early variety. And uh, so I told him, I said, I'm going to repeat that story. Uh, another guy said, no matter when the guy planted his cannon, he combined his cannon first. Um, some guys like to you know, get it in the ground right away and then know they'll have it first. And other guys, well, as the season gets later, can go to cannon and combine it at the same time as their other wheat. So it uh, depends on which way you're looking at it. But both of those I heard a number of times. Uh, as far as Canon is very early. And here we have LCS Buster. This is our next generation high yielding wheat variety for the Northern Plains of the USA. This variety we hope to replace the LCS Trigger, which has been a great high yielding variety for the Northern Plains. It's been the highest yielding variety for a number of years now. And this one, LCS Buster is a one that out yields trigger. So pretty exciting for the farmers who like big yields. We have it here in our seed production strip in our field here at Saskatoon. Planted a little bit of lighter density uh, just so we can uh, have a good look at it um, under these seed increase uh, conditions. But you can see, you know, that characteristic blocky head, big heads, good standability and really sets up for high yields, you know, similar to what we saw in Trigger, but just at higher level. So if you want to bust some bushels, bust some bins, I recommend checking out Buster. This one's a new and exciting addition to the LCS portfolio of wheat varieties. And then uh, LCS Buster will be our new variety for 2022. It is in seed production for 2021, but it will be another high yielding average protein or maybe a little lower, it'll be a little bit higher with a little more straw strength than trigger, but it is made to re replace the trigger acres. And we're pretty excited about that. And we're going to have a lot of production fields in 2021. Hello, my name is Andrea Varela, and I'm the spring wheat breeder for Lima Grain North America. Now I'm going to walk you through Lima Grain's newest varieties. LAR 17-1713 is widely adapted to the spring wheat growing region of the Northern Plains. It has an early to medium maturity and shows good balance between yield and protein. It has excellent straw strength and a complete disease package that includes resistance to stem rust and moderate resistance to leaf rust, stripe rust and fusarium head blight. 
LARR 19-0046 is the first line being released by LCS that was produced using rapid cycle breeding technique. This technology allows us to take varieties to the market faster than ever before. LARR 19-0046 is a high-yielding line with an excellent disease package. It is resistant to leaf and stripe rust and it's moderately resistant to stem rust and fusarium head blight. My name is Mike Flowers and I'm the Product Development and Trade Manager for Lima Green Cereal Seeds. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the coaxial meat production system. So for those of you that have not heard of the coaxial meat production system, this is a new herbicide tolerant trait in wheat that was launched about three years ago in, in winter wheat uh, to control grassy weeds in season. And we're excited about bringing it into the spring wheat market. The coaxial meat production system is pretty unique in a lot of ways. It's not owned by a, a large company. In fact, the trade itself is owned by a Colorado wheat growers through the Colorado Wheat Research Foundation. It was developed through a collaboration between those growers and CSU. And as it was coming to market, they brought on some partners. So there's a three-way collaboration bringing that trade into the market. Um, so you have the owners of the trade, which is Colorado Re Research Foundation. You have Lima Grain Cereal Seeds. We actually integrate the trade into our own germplasm, but we also manage the trade and provide the trade to other breeding programs to integrate it. Um, with the idea that we want to uh, have as many background and germplasm as possible with the trade to enforce that growers have options. And then Alvo Chemical Company is the third entity of it, and they are the ones that produce the aggressor herbicide that we use with the tree. So what is the, the coaxial wheat production system? It's really four components. The first being the patented trait. It's a non-GMO patented trait that provides a group one, specifically quazolabob P-ethyl resistance in the wheat plants itself. And unique in spring wheat is that all three genomes are required to have the trait. You will hear a lot about, you know, one gene, two gene, three gene. So in spring wheat, coaxium system is a three gene system. All three genomes have the trait that provides tolerance to the chemistry for crop safety. The second component is the uh, elite germplasm. Again, the immigrants cereal seeds will be bringing vaccine wheat varieties to market, but you will also see other entities bringing both public and private that will be bringing vaccine wheat production wheat to the market. One key way to, to tell whether you're working with a coaxium wheat is, is real simple. Uh, all coaxium wheat is required to have the AX at the end of their name. So it could be a number name or it could be a, a name itself, but it will always say AX at the end. So that's an easy, quick way to determine whether you're dealing with coaxium wheat variety or not. The third component of the system is the aggressive herbicide. So this, again, is a, a group one herbicide. In spring wheat, it's targeting grassy weeds like wild oats. Persian Darnell, yellow and green foxtail, and brum species. And we're not going to talk a lot about, you know, sort of the rates and the formulations for the chemistry because that's really best seen in the field. And so I'm really hopeful that uh, everything will sort of clear up here um, this spring, early summer, and we'll, we'll be able to meet you guys in the field and get to talk a lot more about this system. But the one I do want to talk a little bit more about is the last component, and that's the uh, stewardship component. So like a lot of other traits that are in the market, uh, the coaxium system does have a, a stewardship platform. Um, and there's some key uh, things for both uh, growers and dealers to know about that stewardship platform. And I think the first one of that is that you know, the coaxium wheat production system is a certified seed only system. So there is no safe seed allowed. That growers prior to buying coaxium wheat from a dealer are required to uh, sign a stewardship agreement. And in that stewardship agreement, they, they state that they will not save seed. It also states that they will use a crest for herbicide um, in their system if they're, if they're going to use a group one. So, I mean, those are, I think, important points that, uh, you know, both dealers and growers need to understand. They get certified seed only, no safe seed, you know, are key components to the stewardship. And so why do we require certified seed only? Really simple, to ensure that the trait's there. Dealers and growers that uh, work with seed production are going to requ be required to spray aggressor across their seed production fields, and they're required to do a seed test before that seed is sold to ensure that that trait is there. So growers can be assured that that, that trait is, is there, and uh, if they spray, that they're not going to have issues with, with crop safety to do that because the, the trait is there and it's in the wheat. So an important uh, key component of the storage chip platform. Um, there's a couple other um, key important, I mean, so 
to back up for a second, the storage chip platform itself is managed through uh, the Accelerate platform. Um, it's all online. You already can sign up there. They get a storage chip number. Dealers can hope they're familiar with this system for you to do other crops that they work with um, and licenses out on the Accelerate platform. That is what happens to and where to find um, the coaxium production system licenses. And the other important part on the license is that it's an annual license. So uh, growers will need to sign it every year. Um, that may change in the future, but currently it's an annual license that growers will need to sign every year. So uh, again, they will get a new store chip number every year. A couple other key points to the the, uh, the store chip is, is the rotation um, recommendation. So growers need to be aware that, that they should not be planting consecutive crops of coaxial wheat, for example. They need to be having some sort of uh, crop rotation, or if it's not, if it's wheat to wheat, that uh, at least uh, chemical rotation so that we're not building up um, resistance wheat populations uh, to the chemistry. So that's a, a very key, important part of our, our stewardship platform. For dealers, as you're thinking about, uh, you know, producing or working with coaxial wheat system, uh, there's a couple of uh, key points for, for seed producers that you need to understand as well. So one is you have to, again, use a certified seed system. Um, you know, all, all seed will be certified. Um, you have to spray that seed production crop uh, with aggressor. Um, again, ensuring that the, the trait is present in the seed stock. Um, and then also you have an additional seed test called the oxygen trait test that is required um, from the seed lab. Um, again, to assure that that trait is in the seed stock that, that you will be selling. So there's a, a quick overview of some of the things, uh, key points of the coaxium production system. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can visit the, uh, the website, coaxiumwps.com. It's got a lot of information in there, pictures of uh, the weed control, those sorts of things if you have questions. Or you can contact any of the LCS staff, and we'd be happy to help you. So thank you.